In this video, I'll introduce the idea of how to find an amount of accumulation using the scenario of a Mars rover. The Opportunity rover landed on Mars in 2004 and has been actively exploring the planet ever since. It is powered by solar cells. As the rover travels across the Martian surface, it kicks up dust, which accumulates on its solar cells. The amount of dust that it kicks up depends on the composition of the surface it travels over. A rockier surface kicks up less dust than a sandy surface. When planning a path for the rover to follow, scientists need to know how far it might travel before too much dust accumulates on its solar panels. They have mapped out a 100-kilometer path for the rover to follow, and have collected satellite data about the composition of the Martian surface at various points along the route. The goal is to figure out how much dust accumulates on the rover's solar panels. The first step in figuring out the total amount of dust that will accumulate is to identify the composition of the Martian surface at various points along the route. Here is a table that shows the composition of the Martian surface at six points along the rover's proposed route. Let's straighten that path out. And we'll show the rover on the path. And here is NASA's estimate of how much dust would accumulate on the solar cells per kilometer traveled for each type of surface composition. So, based on this, how can we figure out how much dust will accumulate across the rover's entire trip? It might be tempting to just multiply the numbers in the bottom row, 100 kilometers by 1 milligram per kilometer. However, if you did this, then you'd be assuming that the rover traveled the entire 100 kilometers over a very rocky surface, which isn't the case. So how can we approach this problem? The first thing to do is to break the path down into distance intervals. First, we'll label the path with a position from the start. And then, we'll make some space to record the length of each distance interval. Each of the intervals has a length of 20 kilometers. Let's put this in the table. Next, let's make some space to compute the amount of dust we accumulate in each distance interval. The next thing we need to do is to recognize that the data we have are rates. For example, this 1.5 means that when the rover is 80 kilometers along its path, the dust is accumulating on the rover at a rate of 1.5 milligrams per kilometer. So at that point, for each additional kilometer the rover travels, it will accumulate 1.5 milligrams of dust. Now, as the rover travels from 80 to 100 kilometers, the composition of the Martian surface changes from moderately to very rocky, and we don't know how quickly this change happens. Consequently, we can't find the exact amount of dust that accumulates over this interval. The best thing we can do is to approximate the total amount of dust that accumulates on the solar panels. To do this, we need to assume that each of these rates is constant over the corresponding 20 kilometer interval. Then, that would mean that to find the amount of dust that accumulates for each interval, we would multiply the change in position over that interval by the rate of accumulation. For example, over the interval from 80 to 100 kilometers, the rover travels 20 kilometers. If we're assuming that dust accumulates at a rate of 1.5 milligrams per kilometer for the entire 20 kilometer interval, then the rover would have accumulated 30 milligrams of dust over that interval. And we could do this for each of the intervals. So if we start over at the beginning of the rover's trip, as the rover travels over the first interval, it would be traveling 20 kilometers with an accumulation rate of 6 milligrams per kilometer. We would multiply these to get 120 milligrams of dust that accumulates. Then the rover would travel over the next interval, so it would travel another 20 kilometers, multiplied by a rate of 3.5 milligrams per kilometer to get 70 milligrams of dust accumulating. Then, over the next interval, we would multiply the 20 kilometer change in position by the rate of 2.5 milligrams per kilometer to get 50 milligrams. Then over the next interval would get 40 milligrams. And over the final interval would get 30 milligrams. And if we added all of this up, would get a total of 310 milligrams of dust that have accumulated on the rover. Now, it's important to keep in mind that we've been making a big assumption. Since we were assuming that each rate was constant over the corresponding 20 kilometer interval, our answer of 310 milligrams isn't necessarily the actual amount 
of accumulated dust. Rather, it's an approximation of the total amount of accumulated dust. One thing you might have noticed is that we were always using the rate of dust accumulation at the beginning of each interval. For example, for the interval from 80 to 100 kilometers, we used a rate of 1.5 milligrams per kilometer for the entire interval. However, by doing this, we were assuming that the rate of accumulation remained 1.5 milligrams per kilometer over the entire interval. We can see that the rate of accumulation had dropped to 1 milligram per kilometer by the end of the interval. So we could have also done the entire calculation using the rates at the end of each interval instead of from the beginning. This would have given us a slightly different approximation of the total amount of dust that accumulates on the rover. This estimate using the rate at the end of each interval wouldn't necessarily be more or less accurate than the one we got using the rates from the beginning of each interval. Now, to summarize our general method, to make an estimation of the total amount of a quantity that has accumulated, we treat each interval as having a constant rate of dust accumulation. In the example, we always used the rate at the beginning of each interval, but we could have also used the rate at the end of each interval. Then, we find the amount of accumulation over each interval by multiplying the constant rate times the change in position. And then, we add up the amounts from each interval to get an approximation of the total amount of dust that has accumulated.